Time to get serious. Hello, everybody. Welcome back to the channel. My name is the Blackhead, and welcome back to Spirit Fair. Now, for those of you who know about my recordings of this, you know it's a lot longer than my usual 10 and 15 minute videos. You know it's more just about what's going on and what happened last time. Originally, I didn't have a name for this. Now I do. From now on, any rec any 30 minute recording that is happening on Sunday will be known as Comfy Sunday. For now, I, I don't really have a name for it all that well. I'm not great with name and shit, but, uh, one thing I do know is that I want to record, and I want to talk to you guys and let you guys know how life is going for me, and what that means for the channel. And that's kind of the biggest thing. I want to communicate with you guys. Anyway, I shouldn't sit in the menu for too long. Let's get started with the game, and I'll, I'll just show you through demonstration what Comfy Sunday will be from now on. So, for those of you who are wondering, yes, these videos, most of my videos are actually recorded over the weekend due to school-based restraints. And it's because of these school-based restraints that, oh, wait, fuck, I forgot to, yeah. So, it seems as if Team Fortress 2 is actually not doing too well on my channel, which really sucks because of the fact that I love Team Fortress 2 and it's starting to actually die out on my channel, which... What is that? What is that? I want to. I want to get it. Give it, give it I want to get it. Oh my gosh! Just let me grab it. Am I even pressing the right button? Oh no! It's it's X. I need it. Oh! <gasps> I got a scallop. I don't even know what that is. But anyway, uh, we're here. I'm gonna drop the whole voice acting thing. That's it's not my style. Let's buy some seeds. Theodore has some set up shop on his island. Let's pay him a visit. But anyway, this game is absolutely wholesome, and I genuinely love it. But I record all my videos during the weekend due to school, which I mention every single time. Just to make sure that any new viewers uh, are informed of that. And I know that a lot of people aren't going to be watching these videos because, you know, they're 30 minutes of a game that nobody really cares all that much about. Who are you? <laughs> I'm out here looking for the right house to start a family. My wife sent me here to find something that might fit our needs. A garden, maybe a pool. <laughs> Not asking for much. I just can't decide. I know you, that you can't help me. But it helps to say it out loud. Mood. I might stumble on the rarest of finds. This is a solid mood. There's stuff in this place. Oh, I can go in people's school. Oh, I just stole something. Oh. Aww. Anyway, so there's like a quite a few things that I've done over the week. Like, for instance, you know, mostly schoolwork, and I've got a midterm coming up. So, videos aren't going to be posted on Tuesday due because of that. Because of this new huge thing. The music is distracting. Hold on, just one second. This might screw up the entire recording. There we go. I really hope that doesn't screw with anything because I just turned down the volume on my computer. Take a look, good look at the shrine, Stella. It's simply stunning. Some objects in this world are meant to resonate with the spirit fair and Everlight. Mm -hmm. I've heard this monument has the power to enhance the Everlight's abilities. Mm -hmm. The two slots need to be filled up. I'm fairly certain you could use obols to activate it, but get to get obols, you need to uh, welcome more spirits on your ship. Mm -hmm. I'm sure you'll find more lost souls like me. More than likely who all relate to her. Mm -hmm. Yes? Oh, I thought you had something to say. Oh. No, it's just nice talking to you. Mm. I don't know how I can get up there. Oh. I'm going home. Don't follow me, please. 
I hate when people know where I live. If you'll know my address, he'll tell people. And then they'll tell people. Oh. Listen, I just don't want junk mail. Hmm. Stop it, this is wrong. I know where you live! Oh, wait. Leave my door alone! <laughs> Step right up, potential prospects. Welcome to Raccoon Inc. God, it sounds sketchy already. We've been servicing Hummingbird since forever. We've got the glit. Ah, sorry. You've got the glims, I got the goods. I got all the wares to make you spend all those hard earned glims. Step right up. I, I don't know why it's called glims, though. Good. There's Theodore. Go ahead, take a look at what he's selling. This key opens up the broken the door next to the broken ladder in Hummingbird. Oh. What the fuck? What in the actual hell? 14,000 for a limestone. Hmm. Those prices are out of control. I won't let them get away with this. You ready to see me obliterate this merchant? Mm -hmm. Good, let's do this. Theodore, I know what you're doing here. And you should be ashamed of yourself, you trash panda. <laughs> People like you are the reason we have middle fingers. <laughs> what? Madam, what is the meaning of this? My friend here is a new spirit bear, but she's not a newbie. Neither am I. That little scam of yours won't go on us. But I, I can assure you, my business practices are quite above board. Mm -hmm. Be warned, your treacherous drive to weasel. <laughs> I won't tolerate this behavior for one more second. No more shenanigans, no more double crosses, mm -hmm. just fair prices. I, I, stop being dishonest at once. Anytime I see you, I'll try being nicer if you start being smarter, mm -hmm. got it? But, yes, yes, of course, I promise I'll just... I beg you, please don't scold. Aww. Hey you, yes you. Your friend really gave that greedy merchant some hell. <laughs> you both look like you could possibly join the upstairs crew. I can't see it in your eyes. Um, but I'm not gonna I'm not gonna lie, it is pretty cool being up here. Yeah, all the best people are up here. Don't get too excited though, some idiot broke the ladder. <laughs> You'd have to be able to jump inhumanly high to make it. I guess you could also use the stairs in that house. <laughs> But some other idiot lost the key. Well, anyway, see ya. Upstairs crew forever! Oh, <laughs> uh, yeah, no, that was... Th that is a lot better. Um, most of these can be grown in the field. Yeah! So wait, do I, do I have anything I can really sell? No, I don't. Fantastic. Mm -hmm. If you've got everything you need, I'll take my leave. Feel free to stay here as long as you want. I'll meet you at the pier. Boing, boing. This is so energetic! It's... Okay, anyway. So, as I was saying... Uh... Hence why, like, all the videos kind of feel just a little bit dated. And they all feel like... They all feel the same. Because they're all recorded in one day. I know it's not exactly the best practice anyone can really do, especially when they're trying to record for an entire YouTube channel, but it's really the best thing I can do for myself. Being that I have a lot of schoolwork to do, usually during the weekdays, it gets kind of troublesome. So I can usually spend my time editing my videos, which takes about... An hour or two? I'd probably say three hours. I know earlier on I've said like editing's really easy and it's they're always like throw like throwaway videos, but they're not. Each one of the videos I always put just like a little bit of my own very my own specialty passion into. Because what uh, what else are you supposed to do, you know? Anyway. Speaking of editing, I'd like to bring up a, another topic. My editing skills. I never really knew how to edit when I first started out. 
that Darkwood video, like all the other ones I've done, was an experiment. An experiment into a new method of work. I had no idea what I was doing. And so getting into recording and all this, it's been an absolute journey. <laughs> Every single episode or video, I always try to at least put something new into. These videos always make me work extra hard to find something new to do in them. Because I'm always trying to figure out some how to engage with the community. I'm always looking for new means to uh, increase viewership. I'm always looking for new means in order to help you guys see everything about my channel. And more importantly, I'm always looking for ways to increase your experience with my channel. Stuff like the editing, I think, is going to be it's very important. And that's why with all the new Team Ports 2 videos, I've been like throwing in some music. Because it... It helps. I, I cannot think of any game video that I could actually legitimately watch that has either real, a really good commentator or some nice chill music in the background to keep you watching and to keep you entertained at least a little bit. And that's my mindset is that I think it's best to have that kind of soft, chilled out music or simple beat in the background to kind of guide with the flow of the video. And at the, ver the very first cut usually do follows this, but I, I'm still really noobish at editing videos. So stuff like that is really difficult. But <laughs> taking a look at my Darkwood video, I I sucked. I I really did not do very good with that, and I probably should have waited a little bit longer to do that kind of video. Because it was I didn't plan ahead. I was so excited to get recording. I didn't think ahead about editing, and when I started editing that video. It was so mediocre. <laughs> I know only like seven people watch that video, including me, but that video was not worth it. And I'm rather glad that I can continue working on the channel like I am now. With stuff like Dar uh, Spirit Fair, I know a lot of people aren't going to be watching these videos. It's nothing like the other ones. It's nothing like Darkwood, which is a dark and dreary one that makes me wet my pants every fucking night. It's not like Team Fortress 2 that makes me scream in joy as I kill somebody like a heavy. It's not like Among Us, where everything just devolves into freaking chaos. No, it's none of those. Spiritfarer is comfy, it's soft, it's delicate. And it's a perfect time for me to sit down and talk to you guys and actually explain the recent happenings, not just in my life, but with you guys. For the sake of these videos, I am actually going to include a another inclusion. Every Sunday, I will be playing a very comfy game the day before in order to discuss it with things with you guys. And I will read the comment section of the previous one. This is to help you guys communicate with me and more importantly for me to communicate with you guys specifically. I unfortunately there was only one comment which I will pull up here right now. No. Unfortunately, there was only one comment, which, honestly, is not very great. It's not very great for this, but I want to still bring up anything that comes along my way. And if I can find the comment, <laughs> I, I'm, I'm, just give me a sec. The gaming hole, the gaming hole, uh, says, Nice vid, bro. I like what you're doing. Sub. Yeah, like I said, not that much, but it's something. And I just want to say thank you. To the people who are finding my Spirit Fair videos and watching them, 
I think it's really nice to see people finding these videos. I know a lot of the people who are subscribed to me aren't going to be watching my Spirit Fair playthroughs. But it's important that everybody gets to see my channel for what it is. I'm not some random guy who's just recording for the sake of recording. I'm the guy who wants to record. It's exciting, it's fun, it's exhilarating. And before I even got into this episode, I was thinking, like, oh shit, I'm, I'm actually about to start recording. <laughs> and what's unique about this one is that I'm not recording a game because it's fun. I'm recording because I get to talk to you guys, and I love that. Oh, hey, an old shoe. So, of course, I'm gonna sit here, and I'm gonna talk to you guys. Because that's what these videos are for. Anyway, because of the fact that my recordings are by daily or on a day or two, two at best, if I'm lucky, that usually means that most of my recordings are, let's say, slow. I have plenty, I got plenty of footage the last time around. And yeah, that's fair. I had more than enough footage. In the second week. It's just, uh, well, the reason why I didn't upload on Friday and Wednesday is school. Okay, no, I, I can't lie like that. Wednesday, I felt drained. I had been editing videos and working on schoolwork all day long. I realized I don't have time to play games for fun anymore. I only have time to play them if I'm lucky. And the only time I get to play a game for fun is when I'm recording. And yeah, it was kind of a draining thought. So Wednesday, I sat down in front of my computer, I got out my controller, and I played Yakuza. Which, I don't know, maybe I'll do a recording of one day. And then I realized just how much fun it is to play games again. It's been a few weeks, and I forgot about that feeling. Like, I've been playing games for the sake of recording. And I've been going out of my way to do stuff, not because they were fun, but because they were good for the recording. And then I'd edit the video all day because of the mix between editing and music and schoolwork. Not, not music. So what does that say about me? Well, the fuck was that? Whatever. Probably the cat. <laughs> I I do plan to eventually one day be more consistent with my uploadings. I am considering taking Tuesdays off of my recording or of my uploading schedule and instead settling in for the more Oh, I talked through the whole day night. <laughs> But settling for a more Monday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. If I can. If I could hire somebody else to do my editing, I would. And I could actually focus on my schoolwork and whatever. But I can't. I don't have that kind of money. Everything is done by me, and that's how I want it to happen. At least for now. In all in all reality. Aw, she's a sleepy. She's a sleepy spirit. But in all reality, it is an absolute blessing to have you guys. And I know some y'all most y'all are not gonna ever see these videos because of the fact that Spirit Fair is not one of my more popular content based. But I still would like it if you guys can listen. You can sit down and listen. Because this is gonna this is going to define what's gonna be happening in the week. Most days I will upload. But I usually will be taking at least one or two days to not upload and just record or sit back and relax. If you guys wanna see a Yakuza playthrough though, please let me know in the comments. Any comment that you guys have, I would love to see it. And more importantly, I would love to comment on it. So please, leave any comments regarding my channel in the comment section below of this video, and I will get to it. Anyway, 
Enough fishing, enough doing dumb stuff. Let's get to the game. You know, it's a video game. Ahead of me, Stella. Your thumb is as green as your hat. Not that green. This boat will become a cozy floating farm. Don't forget that you'll probably have to water the plants once in a while. Don't ask my word for it, though. Gardening knowledge is as limited as my father's empathy. You'll have to find better mentors than me, which reminds me, I believe it's time for you to find new people. Not that I love the, I don't love the idea of just the two of us cruising the oceans, but you are the spirit fairer. And spirit fairs find spirits. Mm. And yes, help them fulfill their last wishes. Mm. However mundane they could be. I have heard of a place not far from here where someone might be in need of your help. And I'll bet you'll like this one. If he is who I think mm. he is. Go. Let's sail. The cat's tail was wagging the entire time. That's adorable. Coffee! Black coffee. Give her a hug. Mm. Oh, it's so cute. Mm. Thank you, I needed that. Mm. Now this is one damn fine cup of coffee. I've had, I can't tell you how many cups of coffee mm. in my life. But this mm. is one of the best. Thank you very, very much, Stella. Let's check her mood. Shops for fibers. Harvest fibers. <gasps> Ooh. I like that. Uses the loom. Oh, we get to have a loom. That's so cool. I love this game. Anyway. Before I start doing anything else. We gotta go to, through the storm, don't we? Oh boy. Before I do anything else, I mean, let me take a look at the time. Wow. Not a lot. Well. Anyway, I kind of went on with a bit of a ramble there. But I should discuss something else that's important. I've never cooked this one before. I'm so excited. I'm always excited to cook new things, man. It's so cool. It's so fun. Let's see. What else is on my list? Yes, I have a list. Oh, yeah. A lot of people have been watching my videos regardless of what they are. And... I have something to tell you guys who do. Thank you. I I should have put this one first, but thank you from the bottom of my heart. I know it's been only three weeks since I've really started, but it's something else to know that 35 that from 19 to 35 people have subscribed to my channel. Not just because of like the videos prior, but because of the videos now. I'm no longer that really inactive person who just records once every blue moon and comes back with a new video. I'm now a full-on YouTuber who does editing and all this- Whoa! Ah, yeah! Okay, are we there yet? Oh, we're there! Ooh. Oh, it's just another island. Come on, man. <sighs> I upload what? Oh, dang it, I missed that. Would have been funny. I upload f very frequently, and I make sure to include as many videos as I can. 
I've been watching tutorials over and over again in, of how to increase sub count constantly. Like, I want to know how, and I've been trying to for the longest time. And to f know that people are actually finding my videos and that these content bits are working and like how to's are working and all that, it's absolutely fascinating. I know in my other videos I'll usually cuss, I'll scream, I'll fuss, I'll just like, I'll. I'll be loud, and maybe I am a little loud in this episode, but I'm a lot more calm because I want to talk to you guys. <laughs> I mean, after all, I can't exactly make a community of people who like my stuff if I can't talk to you guys. Anyway, I'm sorry that the commentary is not really that great. I know it's just me talking about stuff that I'll talk about over the week. That I'll talk about every week. But that's because that's what it needs to be. When life gives you Oh, I think I missed some context. You found it. I just need a tissue or something. I don't want to get berry juice all over it. Never mind. Just hold on to that lemon for me. Don't go squeeze it. Wait a minute. Maybe you can help me. This land is fresh out of food. My stomach always feels empty. Maybe I could need, Maybe I could even help aboard. Eh. Maybe I could even help out aboard your ship. With cooking, fishing, and building. I don't have my spices and tools. But I'll make it work. Don't think about it too much. Let's just go to your boat. Hey. Dude, join my crew. I'm sure you'll need someone who can make repairs on your boat at some point. I'll be your favorite new passenger. Just you wait. But I think that's all of my stuff on my list. Oh yeah. I'm sorry I can't really keep a consistent like schedule. I know it's something I've been trying to do, but I'm still trying to like, you know, tweak out all the little bits and pieces here. I can't go in. I have to go talk to the guy. Stella! Oh, wow. This boat is amazing. Here comes a real kickle, you little kickle. You know what? Fuck it, kickle. Get ready for a family reunion. Yeah, I knew it. Frog. 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 It's me, Stella. Your uncle, Atul. Surprised? Happily, I hope. I've been on this island for <laughs> a while now. I can't wait to see the sights, the sea with you. I was lonely with my thoughts. Now I got you, Sprout. Aww. Let's set sail for a great adventure. Onwards. Wait a second. Is that a... Ah, frick, I missed my opportunity. What, are you, what is he looking at? What is he looking at? What is he looking at? Okay, he's looking over here. I knew it! It's a Seamaster 2000? I've actually never seen it in action. I've only heard the rumors. Apparently you can catch the biggest and brightest fish out there? Well, Stella, you sure know how to treat yourself. Wait a darn second, you're missing a few bolts. I mean, yes, you've been fishing out mostly garbage. Well, not anymore. You'll see the difference immediately. Give it a go for a fan. Aww. Wait, no. There we go. Perfect. Anyway. I'll probably just do a little bit more mission-wise. And then I'll edit out little bits and pieces here. Ah, oh, frick. Oh, no. You can't just hold it down anymore. So I can't just ramble on about my thoughts. I actually have to try to concentrate a little bit. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> Figured it out. I got a squid. I hope I got that. 
They never stood a chance. You sure don't mess around. That's what makes you a pro. All this ace level fishing has gotten me all rattled up, which reminds me. I have this shiny thing in my pocket. I have no idea what it does. Maybe you can hold on to it. For safekeeping, I suppose. Oh, brother. I need to take a breather. Oh, and by the way, you might be curious and have already tried, but yes, the water is very salty. Well, I'll go take a look around. You can fish your heart's content if you want. I'm probably going to fish off screen camera. I'm not going to lie. Wait a second. Wait, wait a second. Wait a second. Wait a sec. Oh, fuck. Wrong. Stella's cabin? Oh, oh, wait, yeah. Aw. It's 11 made of plastic. <laughs> I was wondering what it was doing there. Soggy and smelly, dusty, but precious nonetheless. It makes you slightly dizzy if you look at it for too long. You should be sold. I've got one of these and I got one of those. I'm gonna go ahead and skip over to when I go. Oh, wait, no, there's some more. This game's so utterly wholesome, I love it. Resources found, spirit. They're free, they're resources. They're not people at all, they're just resources, man. Wait, there's a spirit on that island? I gotta, a sheep? Oh, I gotta find this stuff, but I gotta go back for the shrine. Would you look at that? You got two opals. Remember that shrine? It yes, I do. I'll try and I try and add them there. If we're lucky, you it might do something amazing. If not, you have wasted your time. You should go see. Dribble, 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 dribble. I'm sorry that there's not that much uh, story content in this episode. But this episode, but these videos are not really meant to be story content. I don't really intend you guys to be watching these videos for the sake of the viewership. Wait, what's up? This is what I call a storm. Uh, I think it's what everyone calls a storm there, buddy. Any respectable person would never let their friend get hit by lightning. But I think you should try. You have the Everlight. It will protect you. Lightning bolts will cast sparkles where they're about to hit. Rush towards those. Ah, I almost forgot. Have got ah, have you gotten any empty bottles? If you're hit by lightning with an empty bottle, you'll get a lightning in a bottle. Isn't that bananas? This world. Lightning in a bottle are pretty handy resources, so come here. Quipped. As a head start, here's a few bottles for you. But don't worry, they're pretty easy to come by. Get ready for the thrill of your life. Oh. Oh, he's gonna be playing music for us. Oh, that's so cool. Oh my gosh, poor little guy. I see it, I see it. I see it. Oh no, he got zapped. There it is. Got it. Oh, I think we're out of empty bottles. But we're still getting glint from this, so that's kind of like, that's the cool part. There's little areas around the game that let you get items. Oh, no, we're not done, we're not done. There it is.
Got them all. Oh, thank goodness. I wasn't sure if you were going to make it for a second there. You gave your old uncle quite a scare. Did you feel that rumble? What a rush. It looked pretty awesome catching those jolts of lightning all over the boat. Thanks for being the best cat I could ever hope for. Well, they're trying to sleep. Oh my gosh, that is adorable. Anyway, we should probably go to sleep. For the sake of them. Oh. Skip that. Oh god. Oh, excuse me. Anyway. What are we recording for? Oh, 70. Alright, we got a little bit more time. We got a little bit more time. So let's head over to Hummingbird and let's put those Zobolds in. Alright, you two, wake up. Ding, 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 ding. Need to keep cooking, need to keep cooking for my friends, for my friends. Alright. Good morning, Stella. You seem peckish. Let's give you some popcorn. Oh, thank you, Sally. I love comfort so damn much. What does the big man like to eat? Oh. 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 The hugs are adorable. I'm fine, thank you. Oh my gosh, I... Alright. I want to just complete it just a little bit more. So once we get whatever is going to be in that shrine, we're going to end it. Not going to lie though, I... Okay, let's require it. Wow. Dude, it's just like standing there like, what's going on? What did we get? Spring feet. Oh my gosh. Well, I'd say that's about it. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you guys in the next episode of Comfy Friday or Comfy Sunday. Without further ado, peace.